Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can integrate another groove box like, uh, for example, GR16 uh, from Jim Audio, um, being driven by Drumbo. That's one of the questions that has been asked uh, a number of times um, through comments in the channel. And I wanted to show you one way that you can drive preset changes through program changes, which uh, are generated, converted um, CC messages, which are generated from Drumbo. So let's start. We are inside the AUM. So let's create an audio channel. Um, let's um, actually create another audio channel as well, and also a MIDI channel. On the second audio channel, let's search for Drumble. And let's load it. Here we go. Let's load the normal instance of Drumble. Next, on the MIDI channel, let's choose um, StreamBiter. The reason I'm going to choose StreamBiter is because uh, I need to convert CC messages to program changes. So let's start with uh, uh, Drumble, first of all. Let's maximize the window. We are on the first track, so let's um, uh, let's make uh, let's increase the uh, number of steps. So let's duplicate these um, uh, probably to thirty-two, like so. So we have uh, eight pages, um, like so. Or perhaps actually, um, let's make it. Uh, let's divide it by two. Let's leave it to a quarter and let's see how that goes. Now, on uh, the uh, last uh, page here, uh, let's insert an event, okay, that will be triggered, and we'll go through the track, and will be um, intercepted by the MIDI to CV module. So let's add now uh, a couple of uh, other modules that we are going to use. So the first one will be under miscellaneous and utility. Let's search for a gate and velocity sequencer, like so. Then let's add uh, also under MIDI a, uh, let's search for the CC generator. Here it is. Then let's add a MIDI output and also, why not, a monitor. So let's ensure the connections are right. So let's connect the MIDI CC generator with the velocity output of the gate and velocity sequencer, like so. Then let's get the uh, clock of the gate velocity sequencer being driven by the event message that comes out from the MIDI to CV, which will be received only when that note will be reached in play. So um, let's now set up the velocity sequencer. Um, and before I do that, I have, um, I'm going to load in a moment uh, GR16, and I have created uh, three patterns which I want to switch. Uh, so, one, two, three in one of the user bank, the first one. So, I want to have three steps. So, let's make the step per bit one. Let's change the step to three as an, um, an example. And then let's uh, click here to change uh, uh, the value for each of the step. So, the first one would be zero, which it will select the first preset. And we'll check these in a moment. The second one should be one, and this and the third one should be two. Um, but uh, so let's uh, adjust those a bit more. Uh, hopefully, uh, these will do. Okay. Now um, let's click play and s observe the uh, on the MIDI monitor uh, the uh, CC messages generated. Okay, that's the first one, zero, one. Let's see the next one. Zero, three is not good. So let's the, click on this re and decrease um, uh, the size a little bit. Like that. And let's try again. Actually, I'm going to add another module and then miscellaneous utility. Let's scroll down and uh, add the trigger button. And let's connect that to a reset of the gates velocity sequencer. Let's click reset and play again. 
So, one, which is okay. And let's see when uh, um, the next event is generated, if that would be zero, two. Yeah, perfect. And then we should go back to zero, zero. Yep, and it will cycle like that. Okay, perfect. So now we have uh, CC messages, uh, which are generated from Drumble. And let's ensure that those goes to um, StreamBita. So I connect it like so. Let's open StreamBita and um, let's um, write um, the code that we need. In this case, if we receive uh, um, CC message B0 with byte 00, 00 and 00, 00, we're going to translate that into a program change on channel 0 again which will be zero, zero. And we'll do the same for uh, the others. So uh, again, same channel, but um, different um, content for the second button, like so. And we convert that to, again, a program change, uh, zero, one. And we do, again, the same for the third part button as well, so for the third message, like so, and it will be zero two. Okay, now if everything works, we install the rules and we have no errors. Okay, you can see it's been reformatted. So now let's um, observe the input and output. So here we will receive the input and then see how they get translated as an output. So let's click uh, back to beginning play. Okay, I think I know why this doesn't work because in Drumbo we have not selected the MIDI output. So let's select MIDI out there and let's try again. And uh, let's go under the monitor and let's click play. Okay, as you can see, this is uh, CC message arrived here, translating the program change C000. Next one. Again, same one, zero one, translate into zero one. Okay, when this happens, just go back and adjust the values on uh, uh, the sequencer. Okay, so ensure that this is zero. This is probably uh, should be a little bit higher because we don't have number one. So let's try that um, again. Okay. Yep. This is program change number one. Program change number zero. Okay. We're going to change the number one again. Yep. Next, we're going to change number one again. So that means we need to go back to Drumbo and um, increase this value here, uh, like so. And um, let's go back to the monitor and see if we have a, a second. Um, a C002 instead of 01. Okay, perfect. And now it should be going back to C000 at the next change. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's stop this. This works now. Let's load the GR16. Uh, there it is. Let's connect, let's open this up. Let's select the user one and this button. I want to uh, show you what uh, they sounds like. Um, actually, I'm going to show you the change of preset so you know what uh, they sounds like. So let's make uh, the connection so that the GR16 received the messages from 
stream biter. Okay, so let's open this and let's click play. <laughs> change to preset number two and in a moment it will change to preset number three here it goes and then it will go back to the first preset okay perfect this works so as you can see now drumbo is sending messages uh, CC messages which are uh, to Streambyter. Streambyter is converted those to program changes and program changes then drives the change of pattern in, inside GR16. Um, there is a reason why I put this event on the fourth page because when that trigger, by the time that hopefully this pattern is finished playing and it will, it will, the preset will be changed in GR16. So now when you have that done, you can start to further play inside the drum box. So for example, you can say, let's go back to uh, the second page of steps. So let's load um, under generator um, an instrument. Let's go for the preset. Let's go to the um, instrument and let's choose um, this one. Uh, let's decrease a little bit the volume. Let's try it. Nice. So let's compose something very quickly, like so. Okay, let's uh, go back at the beginning, click on track one, and also let's reset the sequencer and click play. And now you can continue. So you can go on a third track, load something else, and so on and so forth. So you can create tracks on top of what the GR16 is playing. And the presets are being changed by uh, Drumbo in this way. There are other ways to achieve the same thing. You could use, for example, um, an LFO. Uh, depends what you really want to do. Uh, or you can create the dedicated triggers to actually then ensure that they change what you uh, into the preset that you like. Of course, I created a number of presets here inside the GR16, so I worked already inside this preset, so I create three of them, which are called in this case Intro 1 to 3. Uh, so you have to create your one, but in this way you can easily drive or integrate one groove box inside the other one, which is really cool and drive the change of preset as you like at the time when you need the change from Drumble, which is really cool. I hope you enjoyed. See you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.